Good luck. All right, Spider, thanks so much, Avery. Does Gary Payton ever look phased? Always a cool customer. Yeah, he's a cool customer. Uh, the glove, he, he has that name for a reason. He could lock you down on defense, especially when the rules back then were, were different. You could hold and grab. Well, speaking of the rules, in the Big Three, first team to 50 wins. We'll get to the break when one team scores 25 points. No game clock. Three throws, you get one shot if it's inside the arc for two points. If it's a three on the three-point line, and on cue, there's Jeff Jack, Tanya Amir Johnson for the slam and trilogy with the early 2-0 lead. And of course, unique to the big three is the four-point shot, the three four-point circles, each 30 feet away. It's always interesting to see, you know, the first play of the game. You know, what's what's being drawn up? And that was a nice live play. Jerry Jack executed that for Coach Steven Jackson to perfection. Jack to James White. Didn't play last week. White leaders good to beat the 14 in Trilogy with two early buckets. Normally, you know, three-headed monsters, they'll have an advantage, especially with Rashad Lewis and Reggie Evans inside. I don't see that happening today with Trilogy, with White and Amir Johnson. Now Murphy picking up where he left off last week. Kevin Murphy with Reggie Evans and Rashad Lewis for the three-headed monsters. Teardrop not there for Jared Jack. It's Jack, Amir Johnson, James White with the steal and the finish on the turnover. And it looked like the three-headed monsters, they're gonna allow, you know, White to try to score from the outside and really help off of him. Jack went one against two on that last play, so we'll see how that dynamic changes as the game wears on. Lewis with the size advantage, good D by Jack. Now the shot clock reset, and they're gonna get it on cue here. It's at 11 right now, and they're gonna bring it down a little bit. I just love the shorter shot clock. Keeps it moving. And you heard his teammates, White and, and Captain Jack saying, shoot it, go up with it. Jack with the block, but White with the steps. It'll go back to the three-headed monsters, but to your point, Avery, you really have to pay attention on turnovers because it moves so quickly. Johnson with another steal, but he was out of bounds. Yeah, a little sloppy to start the game, and, and that's a big point of emphasis. You know, taking care of the basketball, making on time on target passes, staying away from the careless turnovers. Evan Murphy had it three earlier in the first two buckets for the three-headed monsters. And that just shows how he's gained his confidence. He got off to a slow start. Murphy did last week. But boy, once he got going, and, and it's carried over in the week two to start this game. Johnson going by Evans. The blow by Evans finish for Amir Johnson. It's all about scouting reports. You know, Reggie Evans, I don't know why he was going to Mir Johnson out there. He's not necessarily a prolific three-point shooter. Little help, a late whistle. James White with the block, put the foul. Yeah, so it's all about defensive positioning. So this closeout by Reggie Evans, he was a little off balance, and Amir Johnson made him pay the price. Reggie Evans, 13-year NBA veteran. And again, one shot for two points here for Reggie Evans. What he's done on the glass, certainly in the NBA, but in the big three, where he's earned his money. First three years with the three-headed monsters, at least 10 rebounds per game in all three. Didn't get as many last week, you know, only had seven rebounds, but that's uncharacteristic of Reggie Evans, right? Here's White from Jack. Good setup, three rims out. Trilogy with the week one victory over the Killer Threes. Three headed monsters getting the best in Tri State. Evans, the up fake, bumps, can't finish, but going back to the line for a two point shot. It's always interesting the defensive strategy coming into a game. So, in that situation, you know, basically, you know, Steven Jackson is saying, hey, we're going to play. Reggie Evans one-on-one -on -one when he's in an isolated situation. We don't think that he can beat us. 
Evans, 0-2. And if he gets you in a bad way, foul him. <laughs> Hacker Reggie Evans, how about Jack? Won't go. So 8-5 Trilogy with the early lead. Rashard Lewis. Evans. Had nothing against Johnson. Three to shoot. Murphy on a step to his left. Long two won't go. And it's important on those long three-point shots that every Body, all three guys box out because you don't want to give up second chance points and second offensive rebounds in that situation. How about the wedgie, by the way, from Jared Jack? <laughs> Avery Steven Jackson last year with the killer threes took them to the title game when they lost to the triplets, but here he is now as a head coach year one with Trilogy. Can you be a player coach in the big three? That's going to be a first <laughs> as Murphy connects inside, but the league is so innovative, and you have to give Ice Cube, Jeff Quatnitz, everybody credit. They're willing to try new things. Absolutely. That's, that's what I love about the big three, all of the different innovations, but it still keeps the purity of the three-on-three -three game alive. Right now you have White with Jack, and Quintel Woods came on to Johnson. Lewis posting up over Jack. See, that's a that's a win for Jerry Jack. When, you, know, you gotta put you gotta put Jerry Jack. You gotta in the paint underneath the basket in that situation. That was a bailout shot. Got a stop on one side. A three for White. Only started good one for Trilogy. Yeah, White again. He'll drive to the basket. You gotta rip. And that is the goal. For all 12 teams here in season four, the big three, Avery, if you win or get to the semifinals, get a trip to the Bahamas, try to bring it all back to your team and win in paradise. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm working the semifinals <laughs> in the Bahamas, but the only thing is my wife wants to go, and um, that's gonna cost me a lot more money. If you can bring her Sandra to Las Vegas, you've gotta bring her to the Bahamas. Yes. <laughs> a must. He's Avery Johnson, I'm at Cohen, John Sally, part of our team as well here. Game one of three, and the first of two on CBS is Jared Jack. Can't connect, rebound Quintel Woods, and the finish for Trilogy. And speaking of a super draft, uh, our guy Kevin Murphy, he was a first round pick in the 2021 Big Three Super Draft. Off the mark there, Lewis. Nice fake, and Woods bites, and Lewis will take a two-point shot. Defensive rebounding is going to be critical. That time, Murphy didn't get a body on Woods, and Woods went up and finished the shot inside. All the little things, those 50-50 balls, keeping balls alive. Akwara Doru. In for the three-headed monsters. Remember, Murphy started last week. And you bring in one of the older guys, Bakun, 52, but someone who can really score off the bench. Yeah. My nice move. slip to White. Nails another three. Yeah, my move's one of my favorite players in the league because um, he's keeping my hope alive about maybe <laughs> coming out of retirement. Well, you guys go way back. Yeah. Mahmoud on the bottom, drills it. He's from Gulfport, Mississippi. You come from New Orleans and came up into the league right around the same time. Yeah, I played with Mahmoud for a cup of coffee with the Denver Nuggets back in the early 90s. Jack, nice kiss. And Trilogy up by seven. Jack scored 15 in week one. Briscoe with 28 off the bench. We haven't seen Isaiah Briscoe yet today. Long two. Tim is good. Evans against Woods. I rode uh, from the airport with Jerry Jack to the hotel. And you want to talk about how passionate he is about joining the big three this year? The excitement. I mean, his conversation. He was talking about, you know, how he's in phenomenal shape. And, and look at that. That was a terrific hook pass. And that's what you call reading the defense against a pick and roll. But he's so excited to be a part of the big three. Trilogy getting some great looks. Jack setting the last one up. Chasing Mahmoud here. 
Abdoro. Oh! Evans oh, is fouled by Woods. You can hear Steven Jackson scream. Come on, ref. That's tough against Evans. But you notice here early in the game, both teams are falling for the pump fake. Mm. Everybody's basically leaving their feet. And once you leave your feet, something bad happens. Maybe you'll get called for a foul. You know, the, the ball handler have a little bit of an open window to make the shot. But bad things happen when the offense pump fakes and the defense flies by. Maybe right now, Briscoe in for Trilogy. But you look at it now, next two points. Get it to halftime. Will blow by to the cutter. Woods the finish and the foul. A little chance at three. And after this free throw, we'll hit halftime with Trilogy up on the three-headed monsters. Yeah, Steven Jackson better be glad he's not coaching in AAU because if he was coaching in AAU, Isaiah Briscoe's parents are gonna wonder why he's not starting tonight after that game one, that week one performance. Woods, it's good. And has some jersey attitude. Briscoe from the Garden State, but a really good first half. Shooting, getting to the bucket for Trilogy. Yeah, Trilogy is off to a fast start. Gary Payton is not happy with his team. He didn't even talk to him at the end of the first quarter, but now he's talking to him now. The glove is trying to tell him they better step up their defense if they want to have a chance to win this game against Trilogy. Defensive end has had a major effect on the start of this game. Earlier, John Sally with the captain of Trilogy, Jared Jack. So, JJ, here we go, man. You're looking great. I mean, you are really in shape, too. I mean, I think you're carrying the ball a little bit much, but you guys really look good. What do you feel? No, nah, we're doing good, man. Sharing the basketball, um, keeping them honest with everybody being involved. We just got to get some stops on the other end and uh, try to get Reggie Evans off the boards. Okay, the last week you kind of got a little heated. Calmed it down today. Playing with poise, keeping it level-headed, and trying to just work our way to this W. How does it feel having uh, Steven Jackson as a coach? Oh, man. Playing coach to the epitome. You know, he's getting us right. Got a hell of a game plan. We're going to try to execute it for him. All right. Back to you guys. All right, Spider, thanks. Yeah, yes, Avery Jarrett. Jack knows that. His guy, Steven Jackson, could be a player coach as Amir Johnson missed an open dunk. But there was a foul. He's going to get a two-point shot. Yeah, and what, what he was saying was it's not always about telestration. It's about demonstration. So Steven Jackson, because he's still in really good condition, you know, he can talk to his team and teach. But during practice, he's actually out there on the floor working out with his guys. A violation here on Trilogy. Yeah, on Briscoe. He should have stayed on the line. Avery, first half, Trilogy made 11 shots. Four from James White. Jared Jack was only one of six, but had four assists for Trilogy. Here's Mamadou Njai, 7-6. Native of Senegal against Johnson. That's tough to defend, but missed it. Yeah. He's going to get to a point of no return trying to back down Amir Johnson. How about Briscoe? First shot of the game, and he drills it. But this is a prime example of a kid really improving his game. Whatever Briscoe's reputation was coming into his professional career, man, he's showing that he spent time shooting a 1,000 three-pointers a day, basically, to improve his range. Let's take another look. Jared Jack spoke about winning the battle on the glass, and it leads to this. Offensive rebounds definitely can, and defensive rebounds. You know, when you rebound the basketball at any level of basketball, it's going to lead to uh, a, a lot of positive plays. But I remember at the time, Briscoe, he wouldn't even look at a wide open three point shot. Now he's taking it with confidence. He's become a much better shooter since his days down in Kentucky. Follow Big Three Basketball all across social media on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Triller, and YouTube. Avery, you were down in Alabama when Isaiah Briscoe is in Kentucky as we get a look at the co founder of the Big Three, Ice Cube, next to former Ghost Ballers captain Mike Bibby. Great to see them here in Las Vegas. 
Takmud in on the timeout and knocks it down off the dribble. Isn't it amazing that Ice Cube had a vision and nobody saw this coming prior to 2017? Nobody saw it coming. And now look at the success that the big three's having. And, you know, when you, you're going around Vegas and you see big three hats and T-shirts, just so impressed uh, with Ice Cube's vision and the entire team behind the scenes that you don't know their names like we know the legend, yay, yay, <laughs> Ice Cube, but uh, just very impressed. You know, to your point, as Grisco missed the two-point shot, Mahmoud Abdullah can't connect there, fouls Briscoe. Mahmoud's 52, Briscoe's in his mid-20s, and that's, in a nutshell, how the league's evolved a bit. As Johnson gets a look, almost got the bounce. Yeah, lowering the age to 22. Lewis, out of a double. Five to shoot, Abdul Rauf. Lewis, turnaround, not there, and John, flat-footed rebound. Fall away, around, and finally through for the three-headed monsters. Yeah, and I'm just waiting for Lewis to make an adjustment when he has the smaller defender on him to maybe, you know, venture away from those fadeaway shots that he's been unsuccessful with and try to back the defender down, put him in, put him in, the, in the cave, we used to say. Amir Johnson from Frisco and Trilogy up by 11. You see, that's what I love about the big three. It's so much space, and guys can kind of reinvent themselves. Maybe if you weren't a three-point shooter throughout the rest of your career, you know, and maybe in the NBA or overseas, you, know, you come to the big three, hey, there's a lot of space out here on the floor. Briscoe giving the foul. Lewis will have to earn it at the line for a two-point shot. But to your point, Richard Lewis, 6'10". Remember, down in Orlando, went from being a small forward to a power forward, stretching the floor. And you forget how innovative those Magic teams were, especially when they went to the finals in 2009. Yeah, and you don't see many traditional fives or fours anymore. Mm. You know, your, your threes are stretch fours, and a lot of times your fours are stretch fives. Everybody want to stretch the four behind the three-point line. Rashard Lewis was the MVP of the Big Three. It's inaugural season 2017. Avery averaged 21 points per game that year. Last week, a double-double against Tri-State. You wonder what this team could have done with three-headed monsters if he didn't go down with a knee injury in week three of 2018. But when he's healthy, he's as dangerous as any player in the league. Yep. And in our upcoming game, uh, we have the MVP from last week. Iso Joe. MVP last week, last season, as Lewis cans it. That's going to be fun. Battle of the last two champions, Katina Mobley and Power, Iso Joe, and the triplets. That game is basically could be a pay-per-view game. <laughs> it's going to be so intense. We had McGregor and Poirier last week in Vegas. It's quieted down a little bit in town. Abduro for Enjai. Murphy over White, the three is good. Kevin Murphy drills it. Big reason why the three-headed monsters are staying alive. Yeah, and Murphy needs to be more aggressive, and his teammates need to get him the ball. Briscoe, the scoop, missed it, but he kept it away from Enjai, who was called for the foul. And Briscoe gets a free throw. Murphy with 12 now, he's made five shots for the three-headed monsters. Yeah, I, I agree with Gary Payton on this one. I think Briscoe got away with an offensive foul. You know, he extended his right arm, trying to, you know, shield himself from the big fella. But um, I, I agree with Gary Payton. That could have been an, an offensive foul. Now, under a different circumstance, maybe a coach thinks about bringing the fire. But if you do there, you have Briscoe, again, one-on-one -on -one going right at Enjai. Yeah. And then, you know, in the situation now with bring the fire, they're going to get the ball right behind the three-point line. They'll have 11 seconds to get the ball and score it. Got to get the ball inside the three-point line immediately. Abdur, oh, step back over Briscoe. Isaiah Briscoe, 28 points, a big three high last week, has seven already. 
Jack. Contact. Shot not there. They reset the shot clock, and I don't think Jack's runner hit the rim. No, and I, again, when, when, when you're driving to the basket, you have to drive with the expectation that the referee is not going to call a foul. Right. So if you're basically trying to draw that foul and get the referee's attention even before your shot, sometimes, a lot of times, that's not going to work. you got to just play through the contact. Jared Jack beats the 14 on cue. Trilogy by 12 at a timeout. And that's exactly what Jack did. On the first time try, Jack was complaining about a call, but he said, okay, forget about it. <laughs> I'm just going to go to my power play right here and jump up and shoot over Mahmoud Abdul-Rabu. Jack, I'm seeing your left shoulder move every time something's happened. Do you want to play? I'm a, I'm a hoop at heart, so I'm still getting the itch. But I'm, I'm a coach now, so I got I to gotta control my emotions a little bit. All right. Your team's looking good. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Trying to get this win. Thank you, John. Thank you, Coach Jackson and Avery. They're shooting it really well. 15 of 23. Trilogy, especially from three-point range, has delivered here in game one. Yeah, that's the great neutralizer. Three-point shooting. And uh, Trilogy is off to a good start. And uh, Captain Jack, you know, 2003 NBA champion with the Spurs. I know he's, he's obviously got a smile on his face. There's another coach from the Spurs that just so happens to be in town in Las Vegas right now. Coach Greg Popovich. We heard of him. Men's national, USA men's national team. And good luck to them in the Olympics in Japan. Yeah, coaches who played for the Spurs, of course. Got to my right. Here's Jared Jack, three over Lewis. So right now for Trilogy, Amir Johnson, Jared Jack, Isaiah Briscoe, Evans, Kevin Murphy, Rashard Lewis for the three-headed monsters. Kevin Murphy hits it. He has 14 points, 10-point game. Yeah, we talked about it in the, in the pregame show. Uh, here's a guy that scored 50 points in 2012 when he was in college. He can score the basketball at a Division I school. Briscoe taking it off the dribble, rolled off, but he's fouled by Murphy. Kevin Murphy's 31, Avery. Those 50 points with Tennessee Tech against Southern Illinois in the Ohio Valley. Briscoe is keeping the pressure on the three-headed monsters defense. They, that's the one thing about Trilogy. They're, they're not settling for bad threes because, you know, they have a 10, 12-point lead. Well, you look at it right now. Briscoe didn't score in the first half. Pairing with Jack at the moment. Murphy. It got away from Evans. Five to shoot. Slips it. Lewis turns and scores. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Lewis duck into the paint, get the smaller Jack underneath the basket, punish the smaller defender in that situation. And that's that's why these guys are smart. They make adjustments. They, they played a lot of basketball in their career. So they will adjust. Johnson slipping behind Evans on the reverse dunk, called for the foul, cannot believe it. No, Gary's... <laughs> Gary wants to bring the fire in this one. He's going to challenge this one, for sure. Yeah. Here we go. Yep, here we go. That looked clean. That, that was clean. Now, now Reggie Evans has a chance to get a stop, but he can't fire. He can't foul. The glove is stewing. Taco Bell, bring the fire. Here are the rules. If you challenge your shooting foul, two players go one on one. If Evans gets a stop here, that's it. If Johnson scores or is fouled, Trilogy gets the two points. But the clock, the clock is going to start. Johnson is going to get the ball with 11 seconds. And now he's got to go. The spin, the hook shot. Evans getting the stop, so they bring the fire. And now it's still a 10-point game. Excellent challenge by Coach Gary Payton. Excellent challenge. But again, a very innovative uh, change this year with the big three with the bring the fire. And it, you saw it got the fans into it even more. 
I mean, if the glove brings the fire, <laughs> that's really what the rule is all about. And now Evans is decked by Briscoe. And when you have so much respect for your coach, especially for his career, Reggie Evans didn't want to let Gary Payton down <laughs> with that defensive style. He, he wanted to make sure that he was successful here. Whistle on the pass, and another one against Briscoe. Now in the first half, if you pick up three fouls, you must sit. In the second, if you pick up three, that's allowed. The next one, if you stay on the floor, results in a technical. And the foul on the inbounds, James White. Boy, Trilogy, even with the lead, has their hands full with Reggie Evans. And that's one of the things Stephen Jackson is saying, hey, we want to stay away from those silly fouls, especially on an inbounds. Here's a four-point shot. Kevin Murphy drills it. The luck of Murphy, it's a six-point game. Yeah, you can cut into this deficit a lot quicker when you start making four-point shots. Risco blow by and going to the foul line for a two-point shot. Yep, and he, he had both of his feet inside the four-point shot logo. Man, he, he made that one like he was a layup. That was legit. <laughs> now, the rule is you just need any part of your foot on the circle. Could be just the tip of your heel, but he was square 30 feet away. Avery Murphy with 18, now on a step back. 20 now, Kevin Murphy hit 19 last week. And even though he's a right-handed player, he loves to move to his left to get his shot off. And, and actually, from an analytical standpoint, if you track a lot of his shots, he loves the left side of the floor, Kevin Murphy. They didn't give Briscoe the continuation, the fouls on Murphy. And Trilogy, regardless, is in the bonus, so Briscoe does get the shot. He's got to make his free throws, and the guys for the three-headed monsters on the line has to box out. Forty-four, thirty-six. Remember, first to fifty wins in the big three. Briscoe putting on the moves. White hounded by Evans. James White, late whistle, and they'll get Evans. He was all over him. And I think in this situation, Evans got to be smart that once you have him locked down, there's a point where you have to back off a little bit and just mix it up. So you got him pretty much under control, but that left knee was the reason why they called him. White scored 10 of the first half. And still scoreless since the break. Murphy, the speed to get to the rim. But you see, he's going left. And, and he finished on the left side of the basket. So, you know, for an adjustment, maybe the trilogy needs to start forcing him to the right side. Briscoe, that was a long two. Murphy, corner tray. Got it, Kevin Murphy on another level in his second victory game. I thought Joe Johnson was coming up in game two. <laughs> is, it, is this a Joe Johnson impersonation? I kept Murphy in game one. Avery never sleep on the undercard. 25 for Murphy. Jack's been quiet shooting. Not there over Lewis. See, this is a situation where, you know, Briscoe's been scoring. You know, obviously, James White and Woods, they were good in the first half. Look for Jared Jack to try to finish this game off, scoring and finish the three-headed monsters off here with his, his ability to knock, knock down shots from anywhere on the floor. Oh, Lewis, the hesitation fouled by White. Let's go back to Murphy, keeping the three-headed monsters alive. Oh, Murphy's been scintillating. Just look at him, just using his body. And then, you know, he's just mi mixing up his game. Now, that's, this is a big-time shot falling out of bounds from the left corner. There's not much room to operate. You have another defender that left baseline that if you step on the baseline, is a turnover, but give up Murphy credit. Sitting on 25 points. Now in the spirit of their coach, he needs some stops. Jack for the win. 
got him off the heel. And a four point shot from the captain. That's when you know, that's when you know the rules of engagement. Jack Newton, they needed four points to win. Defense backed off of him a little bit. He made the shot, and GP the glove couldn't get do anything but give him a hug. Avery, the captain playing Plinko for the win. <laughs> yes, wow, incredible. Much respect from the glove after that shot.